Hi, and welcome to the Palm Beach Show 2024 edition. This is Frascione Gallery. We are originally based in Florence, Italy. We just opened a gallery in Palm Beach, and this is our first time at the show. We've brought a selection of old master art paired with contemporary. So take a step inside, and we'll show you some of the pieces that we have for you this evening. Hi, everyone. So this is the Renaissance corner in the, my booth. And as you can see, here you find the burst labor. That was a typical Renaissance gift that they were doing to families that were just having kids. So this is probably the family of, here you can see the two crests, so the, these two families that had a kid, and it was a dish done in the 15th century. On top of that is a portrait of a 15th century too by Ghirlandaio. So, and uh, is the, the man on the portrait that was the, like one of the first major of Florence. So we're talking in, about the, the Medici felt and the Florence became a democracy, so it was an elected official. And on this side, we go instead to the northern part of Italy, with a still an unknown painter, uh, but it's a very high quality, so it could be a very important painter, like Lorenzo Lotto or somebody close to it. Hi, so here we have Federico Uribe, a Colombian artist, who had seen the work done by Finzon of St. Sebastian, as we know, a martyr that had all these wounds with the arrows and Federico Uribe thought very wittingly to do a Saint Sebastian entirely with band-aids. So as you can see if you close if you do a zoom in, the painting has is just done with band-aids and pins. So that was his interpretation of our old masterpiece by Finson, 500 or 600 years later. So here we have two different concepts by the known master Cambellotti and the contemporary artist uh, Rainer Janes of uh, the dream of the pharaoh. So the dream of the pharaoh was that he, he basically had a dream when he saw seven fat cows and then he sees seven very hungry starving cows. So this is the interpretation of, uh, of Cambellotti. As you can see, the seven wealthy cows over there, they are just sleeping. They don't know what's coming. And you can see here, they have no eye. They're coming, they're starving. They're breathing. They're, they just come out from the water and they will take the place of the seven cows that they don't know what to expect. That was the dream of the father. You know, you need to be ready in life because sometimes things, they look different than what they will be in the, in the future. And you need to be ready after your wellness to be, you know, not, not to sleep on the, on the allore, we say in Italy. So here we have Fabio Viale's Apollo. He's a sculptor from Turin in Italy. This was done this year. He's a sculptor who used Carrara marble from Italy. And then he decided to use the unique technique of actually tattooing the sculpture. If you take a look also through the back, it, the detail in it, there's even 24 karat gold and there's silver in the back. So here we see a very typical classical Italian uh, technique with a more, more modern take. So he speaks to sort of timeless art um, for today's audience. So we have the three graces here. This is uh, the dancers from 1648, 1650, and they are interpreted by the Polish artist Shimon, who sculpted this piece. And if you just take in, a, it doesn't really, you can't really realize what it is until you zoom in and you notice he saw the dancing girls and what he's done, he's taken and sculpted a white piece of marble from, um, from Italy. And it's basically a very gentle, soft draping of the girls dancing underneath it. It invites you to get in and wonder what exactly is going on. And you can see a little bit sort of peeking out the toes and it feels so light, but it's actually just a block of marble, but he renders this soft feeling of dancing underneath and it invites the viewer to get closer and appreciate his interpretation of this piece that, you know, 450 years before. So that is Shimon, he's a Polish artist that we're happy to present here in Palm Beach for the first time. So here we have what I like to call the Three Graces by Salustiano. They're all individual artwork, but he has his interpretation of women in this very um, surrealistic, hyper-realistic hyper format. Um, here we have uh, a young lady showing her strength through the baseball bat. We have a lovely young lady representing sports, strength, and our Miami Heat. So that's a lovely way to depict um, an enthusiasm for the sport. 
And then we have this beautiful piece as well that is called Love is Pop. And then we have her, his interpretation of today's woman. Hi, so uh, we are here at Frascione Gallery at the booth 501 at the Pub Beach Antique Show. And we are all waiting for you. And uh, please come to visit us.